Hey YouTubers, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to do a recording, um, a mobile recording on your iPhone using GarageBand. Sometimes we're out on the road and you don't have access to your laptop and your microphone and whatever, and uh, so this will apply to your, uh, using the onboard microphone with your phone or you can plug in a USB lightning connector um, microphone. So we're going to go to uh, GarageBand, open it up, and I'm going to click Create Document. We go to the audio recorder, click Voice, and this will come up. You've got uh, Drive and Vocal Hall. Vocal Hall is a reverb. You don't need that. Drive is uh, like distortion. Pitch control you definitely don't need. So the compressor is on, and the tone control is a little bit bright, which is probably fine. Uh, there is a metronome up there. We turn that off. Uh, you will still have the count off. So we click record and you get the one, two, three, four, and we are recording. Now you're going to be hearing my voice. I recorded this earlier on my phone and so you're not hearing that. You're hearing me talking over this video. So I'm recording an audition, which is just, hey, that's me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, click, go to the back, um, to the beginning of it, and then you click the things that look like three courses of bricks up on the left, and that will get you to your lead vocals, and we press play. And check, check, one, two, one, two. Hey, this is Dave, and this is my audition. <clears throat> and so two. you hear that. Hey, this is Dave, and this is my audition, take two. Okay. And there's my audition. Okay, so now you click the back button to go to the beginning of it. And you, I'm using my fingers to, to pinch in. You can zoom in and out using your two, your index finger and your thumb or two fingers to kind of pinch in and out. And I'm going to and edit. Check, check, I'm going one, to play two, it here. One, two. Hey, this is Dave. And where I say, hey, this is Dave, I'm treating that as the opening of the thing. So you touch the region and it is outlined in white. When you touch it again it becomes yellow and then you can hold your finger down and drag and I'm dragging to the right. Now I'm gonna go to the beginning and move it to the beginning. Two, one, and two. there's still hey, a little this... bit that I need to edit out. So I'm going to go back to that, get it to be yellow, and Hold my finger hey, down and move it Dave, to the right. And this is my audition. And so now hey. there's just a touch there. I'm going to open that up so you can see that. And I'm going to just click that and move it a little bit to the right. Move it to the beginning. And now the opening is been edited. Hey, this is Now Dave, we need to edit the this ending. Is my audition. I'm going to pinch. Everything closed hey, this is Dave, so, so you can this zoom out and see everything. Take two. I say something okay. at the end there. I'm going to touch that yellow, zoom in there, and I'm going to move that back. Now click the be back to the beginning hey, this button, is Dave, and now and we've got this our is audition. My audition. <clears throat> take two. Hey, this is Dave, and this is my audition. Take two. Okay. So... Now you go to the upper left-hand corner in that drop-down, and you click on My Songs. And it is My Song 4. It was the last one created. So I'm going to click on that. That's what that hey, is. this is Dave, and this is my audition. Going back to the My Songs, My Song 4, you, you touch on My Song, and then you can delete it using the delete button and then I'm going to type in home studio 101 test okay and there it is there and if you click the select button and touch it, it you can hit the share button and then click it as a song I want the highest quality mp3 and then you can send it to either your notes or you can email it or you can message it. And that's basically how you export a song, which would become your audition.
And that's how you record an audition and export it in GarageBand on your phone.